The TriCaster will allow you to bring in up to 16 channels of external audio, and you can mix that with any of the internal audio sources available in the TriCaster. You might be creating audio from the DDRs, if you're bringing in uh, network inputs like Apple AirPlay, you could have audio, and the sounds player all need to be able to be mixed with your external audio. Well, there's an internal audio mixer available in the TriCaster that allows you to do exactly that. You have all of your external sources here on the left side and all of your internal sources here on the right side. Now, you do have the ability to choose what type of audio is coming in, whether it's analog coming through the XLR connectors, whether it's AES EBU coming in through the BNC connectors, or even embedded SDI audio is possible with the TriCaster. Now, you also have the ability to mute any input simply by clicking on the little speaker up at the top of the input here. Again, depending upon what type of input you have, uh, you could have uh, mics one and two coming in, or you could just have line coming in as one stereo feed, so on and so forth. But again, muting can be done by clicking on the little speaker up here at the top. Now, we also have audio follow video, which is available on these inputs, and this is gonna have the audio follow the video switch automatically. And what I mean by that is, if you're switching from camera one to camera three, and they both have audio, as you switch away from camera one to camera three, camera one's audio will go down, camera three's audio will come up. Here, I can even show you this by using the DDR as the audio source. Let's take a look. We're gonna set DDR number one up to be follow, and we'll go ahead and go to DDR number one, we'll pick a clip that's got some audio on it, and let's start that clip playing. We'll turn autoplay off, for this one example. And let's go ahead and switch to the DDR. Now, right now, you can't hear the DDR. The DDR is playing, and I can see its VU levels, but they're ghosted because follow is turned on. Turn follow off, you hear the DDR. It comes through the mixer. But with follow on, you're not going to hear that DDR until you switch to it. And you see that that fades up on the way in and then fades down on the way out. Now, the TriCaster has two audio outputs. You have your main program audio output, and then there's an auxiliary audio output as well. Now, the auxiliary audio output is configurable. It's right over here on the mixer, and there's a pop-down allowing you to choose individual sources inside of the TriCaster, like the DDRs or the sound player, all of the internal sources together, all of the sources if you just want another audio output, or you can choose Solo. Solo will allow you to select any of the audio inputs that you want as part of that group and then send just those out. So this would allow you to take some of the audio out of the mix and actually have two separate audio mixes happening out of one TriCaster. There's also a headphone jack and you can control the audio of the headphone here. And again, whenever you have audio playing, you can see the audio VU meters uh, not only here in the audio mixer, you can also see them on the output, and you can also see them on the actual input that's creating the audio itself. So you've got a lot of visual cues here as to your audio, how it's happening, and you can always see if there's an issue, like it starts to clip, and you need to pay attention to that and come and make some adjustments.